Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to the workshop. Now, in this video, I'm going to do something about all these needle files that I have. They're all quite old. They're probably older than me. I'm not sure if they're really any good or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them up, I'm going to sharpen them, and I'm then going to make some handles for all of them so they all look nice. Let's get tinkering. So I started off by soaking all of the files in some degreaser. I'm using something called Citraclean, made from orange peel, but I suspect that any soap would work fine. The files have been soaking overnight and I'm now going to give them a good scrub down using my Weiss toothbrush. And once that's done, I'll rinse them in warm water and dry them using my wife's gym towel. I'm going to try scraping them to get rid of some of the gunk in between the teeth using my Stanley knife. I'll switch over to my scribe because it's a lot more comfortable to use. Now I made this scribe when I was about 22, so over 30 years ago. It's made of silver steel, so it's very hard and therefore I don't think it's really going to cause any problems to it and I can always sharpen it afterwards. The next step here will be to sharpen them in acid. I'm going to start by decanting some of the acid into a bottle which I've labelled up to show that it's toxic and not to be drunk and then I'm going to place the files into the acid and leave it for a few hours to do its magic. Many years ago I was shown how to sharpen files using hydrochloric acid. Now that stuff's pretty nasty and I'm not sure you, you can even get it in the UK anymore. I recently saw on the Artisan Makes channel him using 30% acetic acid which is basically vinegar. Now it's six times more um, concentrated than normal table vinegar so it's pretty toxic stuff but this is what I'm going to use. On Amazon in the UK you can actually get 80% acetic acid vinegar which says it's food grade it's the same sort of price but you get a lot less in the, in the packet I'm using the 30% I just think that it's going to be a little bit safer to handle but obviously when you're handling any acids you need to take some precautions I'm wearing eye protection and gloves so I've left this overnight it's about 10 degrees in the garage and these um, reactions do tend to be reasonably dependent on the temperature so I think these have had plenty of time to do their magic so for this build all I'm going to need is some hardwood dowel and some tubing this is often an old light fitting and pretty typical for me I didn't throw it away it looks like it's brass but it's not it's just steel with a brass coloured coating on it but I'm only going to want small pieces of this and these are going to make the collars of the handles which prevents the wooden handles from splitting when I put the files into them. In terms of the lengths of the handles, well I, I dug out some of these needle files that have handles on them already and this screwdriver has a handle on it and the handles are all about the same size, they're about two inches so I'm going to make these about two inches as well. Okay, slight change of plan. I was going to use this dowel to make the handles for all of these. And really, I think they're going to be too small for this one at least. Possibly too small for this big one as well. So I was rummaging around seeing if I had some thicker dowel that I could use. And I found this bit it's from the back of a chair. Um, and I thought, well, that would be thick enough for a handle on this one possibly even that one. And while I was looking, I found all of these old handles. Now these are off an old Chinese carving set. It must have been really, really cheap because you couldn't really use the blades on them. As soon as you tried to use them, they bent. So I took the blades out a while back and I obviously didn't throw away the handles, I kept them. And there's nothing wrong with this wood, it's the same thickness as the dowel, but a lot of the work has already been done. I'm gonna tidy them up and make them prettier, but I think I'm gonna use them I'm going to use five of them for those, and I'll use three of them for those, and then I'll use this for that one. So that's my new plan. It means for you, the good news is the video will be a little bit quicker. 
I'm going to use my lathe to add some detail to these handles. The first thing I'm going to do is curve the end over so that it's a little bit nicer to handle and then I'm just going to add some little details to make them look a little bit nicer. I'm using this tool rest which I bought which fits in the tool holder and it means that you can use woodworking lathe chisels and gouges and things on your metalwork lathe. You can just adjust exactly where you want it with these, just like you would if you was metal working, but you've got the you've got the flexibility of using a gouge or a chisel like you would if you was doing this on a woodworking lathe. Now using a woodworking lathe or a metal working lathe is pretty new to me, so if you see me doing something wrong, then please leave a note in the comments so that I can learn from you. Also, don't think that I'm necessarily doing it the right way if you've not done it like this before. I probably aren't. I'm probably just ignorant of what the right way is. So if you do know the right way, let me know in the comments. For these modifications to the existing handles, to save you the tedium, I'm only going to show you me making one of them. I'll then go on to make a handle completely from the bit of old chair that I was going to use for the larger file. I'm going to add some colour just using some pens. I then sand them clean so that they'll be ready for some polyurethane spray. Now this piece of old dowel comes from a chair back and I think it might have been handmade because it's not perfectly circular. We'll see how much of an impact that has on my ability to make it into a handle or not. Having rounded one end, I add a taper to the other end. I then add a collar for the metal sleeve to go over. The metal sleeve is just a piece of old metal pipe that I had hanging around. I cut it to size and then I square it off using the lathe. So here are the handles all made. You can see that one's thicker than the rest. That's the one that I made from scratch. I think they look pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I now need to drill some pilot holes to accommodate the files. For this larger one, I also drill pilot holes with increasingly larger bits but at lower and lower depths. This is to accommodate the shape of the tang on the larger file. And here's one of the finished files. Finally I add a coat of water-based polyurethane to protect the handles. Well, I'm really happy of how this turned out. It was a really good project for the mini lathe and I think as I get more confident with the lathe my handles will start to get more fancy. Well today I've been exploring some new techniques. I've been using my mini lathe for the first time to make these handles and I've been experimenting using um, acetic acid to sharpen the files. Now whilst the files aren't I would say in new condition they are certainly sharper, they feel sharper, they still look reasonably worn and got that sort of blackish brownish sort of colour to them that used files tend to have but I'm really happy with them and they're certainly safer to use with handles on and having the same sort of style on all the handles even though they're not all the same size certainly makes them look nice. So overall, I think this has been a very successful project. If you've enjoyed this project and this video, then please leave me a thumbs up. It makes a massive difference. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments, anything you think that I could do better or changes I could make to the way I approached this project, then leave them in the comments because the comments I love reading and it's really good to hear other people's ideas about how to go about a particular project. Thanks for watching.